Tonight, a Cape Coral neighborhood is buzzing about some beehives in one man's backyard. Daniel Herrera has three hives on his property. He says it's totally legal, but some of his neighbors are saying it's driving them crazy. Hello. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Patrick Nolan. And I'm Jane Monreal. Fox 4's Rob Manch took a look at both sides of the issue. He has the story from Cape Coral tonight. Well, when you think of a beekeeping operation, you might not expect to find it in a quiet neighborhood like this one. But Julie Cook tells us her neighbor, Daniel Herrera, has expanded his hobby to the point she's actually worried about her and her fiance's safety. This is video Cook's fiance took of the bees flying around their property. It's hard. It's your dream home. <laughs> and you can't go out in your yard. Cook says her fiance is deathly allergic to the insects and other neighbors are starting to get concerned as well. We spoke with one woman who did not want to be identified. I think that bees are very important for our earth. I just don't think that someone should have to mow the yard with an epidural pen in their pocket. The man raising the bees is Daniel Herrera. These are all your guards. When we went to speak with him, he was happy to give us a tour. My laboratory is here, and then this is where I study my bees, behaviorisms, patterns, flight patterns. And Herrera says he's got a permit for everything he's doing. You're allowed to have up to five hives, so, uh, you know, there's room to grow. We checked with the city of Cape Coral, and sure enough, the city responded saying, quote, a code officer verified the property owner's state certification. Anybody moving to Florida before you just move in and, and decide that the bees are, uh, you know, violating your space, you should probably do diligence on the state of Florida, the agricultural laws. Cook says since she's already made the decision to spend her retirement money on this home, she's hoping they can find a solution. There is a place to do hobbyists and to rescue bees. Take them where some place that's not a neighborhood is all we're asking. And Cook tells me the city told her the only way she can get her dispute with Herrera resolved legally would be to take him to civil court, something she says she doesn't have the money to do. Now, I did some digging and I found out the only time keeping bees on private property is banned here in Florida is if you live in a deed restricted community that forbids it. In Cape Coral, Rob Manch, Fox 4.